as you all know we will start yes okay yeah we will start with the worship into the buddha and after that we will go for the discussion okay sadu <clears throat> sadu sadu namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas 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 buddhaṃ saraṃ dhāmi dhammaṃ saraṃ gacchāmi saṅgaṃ saraṇaṃ gacchāmi dutiyaṃ pi buddhaṃ saraṇaṃ gacchāmi dutiyaṃ pi dhammaṃ saraṇaṃ gacchāmi dutiyaṃ pi saṅgaṃ saraṇaṃ gacchāmi atiyaṃ pi buddhaṃ saraṇaṃ gacchāmi atiyaṃ pi dhammaṃ saraṇaṃ gacchāmi tatiyam pi saṅgaṃ saraṇaṃ gacchāmi those who are the lay for lay friends please say after me panati patha veramani sikha padang samādiyāmi adinna dana veramani sikha padang samādiyāmi kāmesu micchāchāra veramani sikha padang samādiyāmi musavada veramani sikha padang samadhiyami sura meraya majja pamadathana veramani sikha padang samadhiyami we recall the quality of the buddha as a worshiping to the buddha iti piso bhagava arahan samma sambuddho vijja charana sampanno sugato loka vidu anuttaro purise dhamma sarati sat देव मनुष्यानं बुद्धो भगवाति स्वाकातो भगवता दम्मो संदेतिको आकालिको एहि पासिको ओपनाइको पच्चत तं वेदि थम्बो विन्यो हिति स 
सुपटिपन्नो भगवत सवक संगो उजुपटिपन्नो भगवत सवक संगो न्यायपटिपन्नो भगवत सवक संगो सामेचि पटिपन्नो भगवत सवक संगो सामेचि पटिप यदिद चारी पुरीस युगा अट पुरीस पुंगला एस भगवत सवक संगो आहो नैयो पाहो नैयो दाकी नैयो अंजलि खरनीयो अनुत्तर पुण्य के लोकसाति वंदा चेतियं सब्बं संबठाने सुपतिथ शारीरिक दातु महाबोधिंग बुंदूप सकल सदा यूल निशिन्नो संभारी विजय अखा पंथो संभायुतंग संता वंदे तंग ओदी पाद पंग इमे ऐते महाबोधि लोकनाते न पूजितंग अहं पिते नमस्सामि बोधि राजा नमंतुते कायेन वाचा चित्तेन पमादेन माया कतं अच्छयं कममि बंते बुरि पान्य तथागते कायेन वाचा चित तेन पमादेन माया कतं अच्छयं कममि दम संदीतिक अकालिक खायेन वाचा चित्तेन पमादेन माया कतं अच्छयं कममि संग सुपाटी पान अनुत साधु 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 सो सो वी जस्ट फिनिश आवर पेस पार्ट ऑफ टुडेस I mean, so the starting point. Uh, yes, I can. We can directly go forward. What we need to start, but before that, um, if anybody have any question or any things to be discussed regarding, I mean, so, uh, regarding what we are discussing, and you should be like it. So today's the eighth week, week eight, and we were discussing about the Anna Panasati Sutta from the Majjhimi Kaya, and I think we already know something about uh, the origin of it and what it's talking about, and we know when Buddha was talking, like there was assembly by the many monks, and the senior monks was you know the advising or instructing or giving instruction regarding the. meditations among the teachings to the junior monks and buddha said he is going to leave the place there for some times and some of the monks from the countryside there and came to know that that buddha going to be there so they are came to the buddha and they are wanted to practice and they want to get the uh 
uh, get the um, achieve the ultimate goal of practice in the Buddha's teaching. So that is what the and this sutta talking about. And we said uh, according to the, our um, you know the content. So it is time for us to. It is time for us to uh, to read the, some part of the uh, sutta. Then we will practice it. And I think uh, today I will do um, another uh, extra thing. That is, as I as I said, as you know, uh, last to I mean, then the beginning of this month I was in Thailand uh, with. Uh, some of the venerables so as i said i would i mean so uh, would like to share about some of the things because interestingly uh, when i went there actually uh, the whole tradition of the thai forest monks actually they really emphasize anapana satisutta that means the breathing meditation so Another surprise is now the sutta. Now we are we are reading. Actually, they are chant this sutta. Even they are chant this sutta. Even so, they are chant this sutta. They are practice this sutta. They are uh, practice this sutta uh, in order to establish their mind to generate the concentration in their mind, and there go for the vipassana, which is again the. Satipattana Sutta. So it is very interesting, actually. And I had an opportunity to uh, discuss some of the uh, very closest follower of the most venerable Achan Cha. As you know, he is the very well-known meditation teachers in Thailand, uh, in the forest monastic Sangha community. So, um, so what I have heard from them I also would like to share about them in the discussion section, okay, in the discussion section. So now I think uh, uh, if you do not have any question or anything to talk about previous or if you, if you or if you have very difficult like you have, I mean, we said no, this you can practice yourself. So during your practice, if there is any question, uh, you can ask uh, now, or you also can ask them in the discussion uh, time. So any question? Okay, uh, it seems no questions. So, <laughs> We, we we already said that um, this sutta is about the breathing and this sutta is talking about 16 step of breathing meditation okay 16 step of breathing meditation and we already said uh, the first very uh, beginning is first very beginning is normally breathing breathing so just know that you are breathing and of course before that, there is some things you need to be done. That is, find a good place, proper place, and um, make your mind, uh, set your mind, like uh, within 10 minutes or 20 minutes, you are going to do this meditation. So uh, some things that make you disturb, um, like mobile phone or other things, you can uh, switch, um, it's, uh, like, I mean, um, what we call the silence mood that is that is not going to disturb you so uh, making silence all the external things is not enough internally also uh, you need to make a kind of decision okay within these 10 minutes 20 minutes uh, i'm going to focus on my meditation one thing i really really want to tell you that is uh, i know some of uh, we all actually some of uh, we study, we do social works, um, we have so many others, very nice job, nice things we are doing wherever you are. Um, and at the same time, we have our own struggle, whatever it is. 
and also in the world there are so many things going on like maybe some of you very concerned about the war going on around the world and child and i know that they're killing child this and that but whenever you start to doing your meditation you have to make your mind that though the world's going uh, you know turns ups and down i don't care what have it is going to be happen i don't care yes uh, it will be very very important someone you know talking about i know like hearing about something very kind compassionate whatever it is you don't have to care about it you don't because the ultimate i mean you can give you can practice you know seela or you can do all the good things you behave like the bodhisattva whatever it is finally you need to do the meditation to be free from suffering and that beginning part i mean that a part of that meditation is the what now you're doing you're going to doing so during this meditation whatever happening you don't have to care about it you can neglect it neglect in a positive way i'm not saying the negative way positive way you can uh, stay away from them or you leave them whatever it is uh for example sometimes as i said always uh when you just close your eye or remember oh i need to do that i need to send a message uh, i need to take care of i need to say something very important to my grandma my mothers or i need to send a money to that person this person so many good idea will appear so many kind idea will appear so many you know the bodhisattva bodhisattvas i intention ideas thoughts very nice very good very pleasant will thoughts arrive and might be you you want to you know like wake up and do that one no don't care it at that time you just know that oh is a thought i have a thought which is very kind this thought is is about taking care of others we just know that you don't have to follow the thoughts because that is the nature whenever you close your eye then you will remember so many good things as well as bad things when you remember the some bad things or like where you was angry or someone who did something wrong to you you will remember you remember so many things because to to find who you are you need to have a kind of disclose from the external world and it is very difficult for us but once we close our eye we are in a short of you know the our internal world i cannot see that's why the perception regarding the seeing is not arising of course i can hear i can feel this and that this is still they are coming a mental also coming uh but uh still you are you are trying to go to your inner world so when you close the door with the external world then whatever insight you have it will come up one by one one by one one by one sometimes you never thought of such a wonderful memory that you had you know the 10 years back childhood 5 years back 10 years back 12 years back but sometimes when you do the meditation then you remember such a thought but unfortunately we follow that thoughts we don't observe that thoughts oh that was very nice moment this was a very great moment then you know you work recall one by one one by one one by then you are lost in your good memories or you are lost in your bad memories so be mindful always come back always come back as i said let your mind to go some extent but visible extent again come back you know what uh, uh there is i still remember this one very 
you know the cow uh you know the how do you do uh, trade right trade or something whatever so you have the cow sometimes cows they are you know that they are run very fast and you cannot you know you cannot uh, hold it you know you cannot control it so it says you lose little bit you know the thread or uh, what a rope and you lose little bit and it get tight like this then you turn back same ways you let your mind go because if you don't let don't let your mind to recall or to set that past thought it is like conflicting so no need to be that is allow it but remember that don't go so far don't go so far so this is a very clever way this is a very clever way so this is the things um then uh, breathing meditation and once you remember once you close your eyes then you know that you're breathing then we were talking there are some breath are short some breath are long sometimes your breath with your whole body is whole body means like like you you can feel it is from your stomach and the belly from the throat you know it's coming like that so you need to feel it okay so i think we already talk about it today uh, i think we also talk about this like uh, uh like uh, you see we were talking breathing long he means uh, i should understand or i understand i am breathing long breathing out long i understand i am breathing out long breathing in short i understand i am breathing in short okay understand means you see you know it you are knowing it you are observing it understand me here observing you are knowing it whatever happening you know when you breathe in you know i am breathing the some breath are short you know the these are short breath when the breath are long you know that these are the deep long breath sometimes there are deep breath like like this this make a sound like you can feel it when you sit like this sitting sitting like a kind of or something like that you can feel it so you feel is deep breath is coming from little bit you know little bit deep so know that and i think uh, that is what we talk about today i want to talk about here i will talk about here uh, i think uh, of course i don't want to make it lecture now uh, like asking you to read it but if anyone like to read either the english one or pali one can be volunteer i mean can help otherwise yeah anybody would like to read and maybe i will explain maybe so it's like piti pati sangvedi okay piti pati sangvedi assa assisamiti sikkati piti pati sangvedi assisamiti sikkati so now you know what is assasa assati assa what is passa okay assa means aswasa that means breathe in passasa means breathe out now you see the here sir okay this sir it is about like uh it's like kind of future i shall i shall breathe in experience rapture pt pt means rapture joy so this is like meditative joy now at this point at this point as i already said since if you are if you are really doing a good i mean if you are really doing a good job and you have job means if you really able to see that you are breathing you are breathe out 
and some breath are short some breath are long sometimes you breath experience the whole body if you can find all this in your meditation by this time there is a kind of joy joy is like when the monks sorry mind is become more concentrate then actually because of that you feel a kind of joyful you know a kind of joyful feeling you can meditate regarding the meditation like you will see actually is it is very difficult i mean it is very difficult to explain but those who do the meditation frequently and when they have the good meditation actually they feel it so you can talk about your meditation joyfully and actually you are you also can feel about your meditation you know joy you can experience joy in your meditation too so here when you are doing meditation when your mind is calm settled down and actually there's a kind of feeling that's you feel very relaxed calm and it's make you peace happiness joy so you, while you're breathing you you see you know, your breath will be like will full of joy raptures so you can feel it actually so when you feel it you also need to know that that my breath is it is joyful breath my mind is now calm relaxed not that much shaking not that much thinking i can feel my body is relaxed now so because of this is a kind of joy in you a kind of joy so when is joy then you are you know the breathe in breathe out then you need to know i am breathing why shall breathe i am breathe out with joy i know i am in joy there is a happiness in my mind there is rapture in my mind so when you do it you will feel it you will breathe in breathe out and you observe it so these things will happen you know if you do the 5 minute meditation it will not happen at least 30 minutes 20 minutes i mean 30 minutes definitely or 1 hour and there is a people who are with the 2 3 hours so first few minutes first few 5 6 minutes is go with the struggling you know you just to bring your mind because just you just you you close your door and you know everything should be there should be locked turn off the light these and there are so many works likewise as soon as you close the ui there are so many works you know shut down everything then it's go a little bit little bit down inside and it will take some time so during the 5 minutes you can't experience this kind of joy in the 5 minute after 10 minutes after 15 minutes you will see a kind of very relax in your body sometimes you don't see the gap between your hand sometimes you don't feel that you are touching the on earth actually so light so then these will bring you the kind of joyfulness so at that moment you can think oh there is a joy in my mind i am in joy i am breathing with joy and just observe it don't wish to like, oh if i can do like this meditation every day if i can have this joy every day even no need to think like that if you thinking you are not experiencing you are planning that is not the sati that is not the pachupan that is not the awareness so here in manapana sati especially there will be a moment when the mind is slow down calm down settle down after some does you feel a kind of joy is called the meditative joy okay 
So with that joy, you will breathe in, breathe out. You just know it. Okay? You just know it. Sukha Patisang Vedi. Asa Sissa Meet Sikkati. Sukha Patisang Vedi. Pasa Sissa Meet Sikkati. So, I shall breathe in, experience the pleasure. Sukha. When there is joyful in your mind, oh, you're feeling, you know, somebody there is a small a smile, it's kind of a smile. Because you're happy, you know, the smile is always can be the, the, the happiness. Because you're very happy that you your meditation even going very well. You you are able to stay in that position. There is a joy, happiness. Oh. I'm doing well. I feel so relaxed. I feel happy. It's all come there. So, of course, it is very difficult to different. I mean, see the difference between this, the this, sukha, this and that. But if you really a good practitioner, you can observe all these things nicely. It's nicely. So here, pity, rapture, and here, happiness. So pleasure. You don't have any bothering. You're not a stress. You are not full of anxiety. You are, your mind is not busy with the planning. You're not busy with the worry. You feel just relaxed. So that makes you very happy. Pleasurable feeling. So comfortable. I need to do more. Something like such kind of feel. But whatever thoughts appear, follow it, know it. It's a thought, but don't follow it. I mean, know it, but don't follow it. Okay? Little thing. I think uh, it's better to stop there. I think that will be nice. So, uh, here... Is too okay. I think it's, it's, it's much better. So because at once you cannot, you cannot have, you cannot have uh, these at once. You must start from here. Okay. When you you, you sit down, I you know that. But uh, I really wish all people can uh, you know the uh, turn on the camera. I mean, if possible. Of course, the who are recording, there is you will be not appear there. It's only me and the, some words will appear there. The venerable is recording. Uh, but the good thing is, um, if you, I mean, it's, it's like collective gathering. It's very nice. Um, however, it's up to you. If you wish, you can turn off and join all together. So, however, you will start from here, okay? We just close, find a good place, and we will do the 20 minutes. Um, first few seconds, it will be very busy, busy mind, and try to bring it to the your 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 home. I will talk about something later about like caves, home, bring those things. I will talk later. But I no, you don't need to think anything. If you have any question, even in your mind to ask in the discussion, you know that. Oh, that is for the thoughts. That's all. Don't bother about it. Don't try to remember it. Don't try to recall it, remember it, to be asked in the discussion session. Just let it go as a thoughts. Okay. So, sit comfortably. Uh, wear the enough uh, warm clothes. If you want, you can a little bit uh, drink a little bit of hot water, warm water, whatever you need and uh, sit uh, properly um, and that allow you to sit uh, 20 minutes without any uh, i mean moving because more movie more disturbs if less move it's better okay and start with breathe in breathe out and see there are some you don't have to actually breathe long and short. It will be naturally. There will be the breath 
some breath will be short, some breath will, you just know that whenever you breathe in short, you know, the short breath, long breath is enough. So what is the short breath? Short breath is natural breath, actually. There is nothing like natural breath, short breath, long breath is not like that. Naturally, we just pray that is considered, I think, that is considered as a short breath. But there is some actually like, This kind of breath will appear. So long is long breath, deep breath. Okay, you just know it. And sometimes you will feel from the breath from your whole body. You can feel it. You just experience that. So that's okay. So from that, try to see. Of course, don't try to see. I mean, we will do the may do the meditation during twenty. This see if. There is any kind of this thought. But one, again, again, I remember, don't make your mind waiting for this experience. If you do so, you will not get it at the end of the way. So just sit, just start to breathe, just you no know, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. You are, that is your first things. As this process, whatever appears, just you observe it. Okay? And maybe after some time when your mind is calmed down, then you will see, experience these things. Okay? So everything is okay? Everyone okay? To see, to do so? Okay? Everyone? Yeah. So I will I will chant a gatha and you can close eye, uh, you can do so. And when the when time is okay, I also will chant another gatha. So you don't have to uh, you don't have to close at that exactly moment. After I chanting gatha, a sloka, uh, whenever you are ready, you can open your eyes slowly. Okay. Okay. Stile na sugati yanti, Stile na bhoga sampada, Stile na niputin yanti, Tasma silam isodai.
namo mi buddham gunasam makarantam satta sada hunto sukhi avira kaya jivuchu sakalo dugandu Kachanti sambhi maranam ahancha. Whenever you are ready, you can open your eyes slowly, calmly, and gently. Okay. <clears throat> How was your meditation? If I talk my vision, I was a little bit sleepy actually after a few times. It was because it is because the when our mind is calmed down and I was a little bit walking actually before the meditation, that's why maybe a little bit tired mentally, I mean physically. Uh, you know, see, whenever the people say like they cannot sleep, the best way is to do meditation. If they do the meditation, actually they can sleep. I mean, when the mind is calmed down, not busy with this and that, then it's ready to, you know, ready to sleep. But uh, sleepiness in meditation is not the good things. Um, we need to be always mindful about it, yeah. So, um, anything else you want to share? Otherwise, I can share some. Uh, share or discuss. I think, so I think the sutta, I, I already sent you the sutta. Please read these things, okay? You read these things and see what you can get and i will next week i will discuss about more uh, like this uh, with the commental explanation also so as i said um regarding sharing some of the meditation so venerable achancha he said if you can breathe, or if you have time to breathe, you have time to meditate. Okay, this is very, very, very statement. People say, I don't have the time, I'm busy with this and that things. But uh, Virabhala Achancha said, you know, the Achancha means one very famous meditation teacher from the Thailand Forest Monastery, Monastic Sangha. Then he said, if you have time to breathe, you have time to you have time to meditate. Yeah. And one of uh, one of his close disciples I met, he um sorry unfortunately actually this thing should be done with some of the pictures, but I couldn't prepare the pictures for you to see. However, maybe uh in the coming weeks, if we have the chance, I will display some of the pictures, then I will explain about it. But let me explain uh, what he said. So I was, I was meeting, I mean, we were meeting with some of my friend, a venerable. He really emphasized Pachupanna, the words Pachupanna. Pachupanna means come to the present moment. Wherever you go, come to the present moment. Come to the present moment. This is very interesting. Uh, he said, uh, like, mind go around, around, around. Uh, mind goes so far. Of course, there is also the Buddhism to say it. But he always said uh, to come to the Pachupanna, Pachupanna, Pachupanna. Pachupanna means... Be in the present moment, be in the present moment, be in the present, whatever it is. 
so this is very interesting i mean this is very important point actually uh this um not being able to i mean since we have heard many times about the be mindfulness be in the present moments we don't care it actually so that is what happened because you always hear about it <laughs> yes we always hear about it we studied about it many people talk about it but how many of us or how many of us how many time we have applied this in our life that is the biggest question that i need to ask myself you need to ask yourself now if you say okay be in the present moment everyone say this and that yes many people said many time to you but how many time uh, that you had opportunity or you were able to to do so this question need to be asked by yourself okay okay another venerable he was very kind he was very kind mm. okay we studies have shown that um the networks is the activated during the meditation and this chin can also be acute when one feels sleepy yeah yeah so it is reasonable to feel sleepy yeah yeah thank you very much actually uh, our friends uh, uh shayla of course she also started with us uh, she is actually coming from the very um, scientific study field and in the future actually uh, yes this kind of things you can share with us yeah so yeah she uh, she also said that it's reasonable to feel sleepy activate during the meditation yeah because there is system dmi network default mode network okay and another venerable he 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 said uh venerable achancha always was emphasizing few things he said less eat less sleep this of course he had many such ideas this too is very important now for example if we really um if we i mean he said eat first as he want and see if you are full if you are full the next day you always read little bit less than that so it says uh, if you do so it's comfortable for you are your life you are you i mean you are physical body and is not fail you sleep even you do the meditation because you know sometimes venerable venerable achancha uh, meditation is is like uh, is like uh, is like uh, he he started you know teaching in the evening uh, he started teaching in the evening but sometimes it goes like the midnight midnight something like that but he had a uh, habits like although he sleep late but in the early morning he wake up he wake up and sometimes he take only like 2 3 hours sleep so he said uh sometimes we, when we sleep and sometimes like two o'clock three o'clock we suddenly wake up and we can't we, we 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 are not sleepy anymore and we don't want to sleep so he said that is enough and that is how much uh that body needs sleep that's enough so it's like um you sleep 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock and until the next day you know the eight o'clock nine o'clock uh so it's like you sleep more than your body need so we emphasize not to do so and of course the people who are working they have to wake up early morning when it's and other things but generally like the village people who have nothing to do then sometimes even especially the monks monastic members emphasize that uh 
do not sleep how much you want, but sleep a little bit less than that. That means um, be active, be aware about it, something like that, so, okay? So that is how you said, less eat, less sleep. And always be with your breath. Now, of course, there are so many others, many others techniques for the samadhi meditation. I mean, the in, uh, you know the tranquil meditation, concentration, concept for to concentrate our mind. But breath is always with us. We no need no need to carry anything. We don't have to remember anything. So breath is with us. So always we can. Uh, meditate on it when you're walking you just know that you're walking okay and of course another thing is he's he was very emphasized in the walking meditation so i know that in myanmar regarding the walking meditation is very deep and very slow and there's a lot of position not just you're walking ups and down ups and down. it's not like that so when they are talking about the meditation meditation actually there is like before you step putting you like this there is intention and body you know uh, like okay if i if i show you here like okay somebody want to you know that it is the flag and before you move forward there's you want you know the you you the you know this part will come a little bit up then like this like this like this so there's many many join there's many many join you know there's many, many joints, so sometimes with lag, then your body, again, intention. So all this need to be uh, mindful according to the, uh, I mean, it's when I was doing meditation from one of the master, and he did meditation, he learned meditation from the Myanmar, especially uh, the, um, you know, what is called the Mahasi Siado, from the Mahasi Siado's tradition. So, uh, that master used to uh, this, uh, give us the instruction regarding the walking meditation. It's very slow, deep, and need to observe all the things. It like like the you know there is a like there is a joint how one by one by one by one like bandy. So uh, that is very a special moment when you do the retreat and you can do in that way. But in daily life we can't do like that. So when you're walking, uh, you just know uh, left and right, or sometimes you can a little bit more slow, that is ups going and down, something like that, okay? But uh, one thing is that, I mean, wherever you go, you can do walking meditation, you can do the breathing meditation. And of course, if you are the, if you, if you done well, or if you are, uh, familiar with the concentration with the samatha meditation then slowly slowly you can turn your uh, meditation project to observe the thing as it is that is called the vipassana meditation so saying that uh, i will wind up today's uh, discussion from my side if you have any question or anything to be discussed uh, regarding the meditation or regarding the anything um, Buddhist related studies or some of the concept you can ask we can find some time for that um, I mean this is always uh, opportunity remember that uh, you can ask anything so if I cannot discuss it today maybe we can discuss tomorrow I mean, next week something like that so yes I will wind up uh, from my side and so if you have any questions uh, you can raise and you can discuss after that uh, we will uh, transfer the merits and we will wind up for today's session in abhidharma being in abhidharma belong secondary source uh no no, Abhidharma, because Abhidharma is also, how to say, the primary source. Primary source. Three Pitaka, no? Three Pitaka, three canon. So, Sutta, Vinaya, Abhidharma. Three Pitaka is, three canon is belong to the primary source. So, and Abhidharma also included.
is a primary source, not the secondary source. Yeah. Any other question? You can unmute and you can ask directly instead of typing because that may take time for you. Unmute just and asking is easy. <laughs> oh, I um in some videos I have done that. Um, some um, Theravada school they they are only pay attention to the sutra and the disciplines and they think that dharma is belong to the sec secondary resource. Well, in the Tipitaka, Tipitaka means three basket, Abhidhamma is included. Uh, yeah. Says, you know, the Abhid regarding the Abhidhamma, origin of Abhidhamma, you know, the scholastic way, there's always, you know, there is discussing, you know, the little bit in a scholastic way, okay? A scholarly, academic way, they are questioning about the origin of this and that. Um, but uh, it is primary source. And uh, and you know the abhi dhamma dhamma means the teachings of the Buddha abhi is the prefix so abhi dhamma the abhi means higher okay abhi means higher plus dhamma abhi dhamma higher teachings so somebody says uh, in the first counseling okay first gathering um, first council. Uh, in the first gathering, so Dhamma Vinaya, Dhamma and uh, Vinaya was uh, discussed. So there was no no record about the Vidhamma. So it says later on uh, they are selected some of the higher teaching from the Dhamma. They are made the Abhidhamma selected uh, in Abhidhamma. For example, in the sutta, you can see like how to live a good life, how to earn the money, what to be done, what not to be done. It's talking about the Abhidhamma, you know, the sutta. But in Abhidhamma, it's more about like regarding the mental cultivation. In Abhidhamma, it does not talking about how to behave, how to be a nice person, how to be a good person. It does not talking about it. So it's like more directly about your mind. So... So it says um, later on they are separated, you know, the higher teaching, so the very concrete teaching, higher teaching separately and name is Abhidhamma. And the books belong to the Abhidhamma according to Sri Lankan tradition, according to Myanmar tradition, there's a difference because the Myanmar tradition, they want to say, I think, if, if I'm not wrong, is 18. 18 books they included, but according to Sri Lankan tradition, uh, they are included only 15. So, however, uh, Abhidhamma also included in the primary source. And yes, there are some who uh, pay attention to the four canon, right? Sorry, five, sorry, Panchanikaya, five, uh, the canon, I mean, the five canon, uh, and, and not in the Abhidhamma. Mm. Um, there, I also have a question. That sure. sutra is self is well self explained, right? So why yeah. Abhidhamma is also important? Oh, well, that's a good question. Yeah. So as I said, now, um, for example, in the sutta, there's a lots of things. You know, like, uh, what to be done, what not to be done. Uh, you know the, and some of the teaching related with the. Uh, family life, uh, monastic life, behavior, and, you know, Buddhist cosmology, a lot of part there. So it's many, many. So, uh, Sabidhamma, as I said again, they selected some of the very higher teachings, but it does not mean the sutta is not high, it's not like that. But, for example, if you read the Sabidhamma, you will see it's all, it's, it's so it's more about the mind, more about understanding the mind, more about knowing about the mind, more about knowing the behavior of mind, because Buddhism emphasizes you know, purification of mind, right? So it is only in that way, it is in that way. But as you said, I mean, I'm also in the personally um, have this question, like, okay, um, uh, if sutta is explained well itself, then why need to be higher? But as I said, since the, you know that there's many, you you sometimes it's it's very difficult for a person to 
finish all, read all, and go through all the things. But who want to directly know about the mind matter, that then they directly can refer to the Abhidhamma. Yeah. Yeah. Abhidhamma, even the if you study about the Buddhist psychology or Buddhist understanding about the mind, so uh, so it's most of the times it goes to the Abhidhamma. Because it is there where the the mind and matter has been have been uh, explained in detail ultimately. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Is this mindfulness of breathing similar to vipassana? As I said, mindful uh, okay, mindfulness of breathing will lead you to the vipassana. I mean it's like the Okay, I, I don't know whether you are saying like the in the Satipatta, right? Also, we see the kind of uh, mindfulness, mindfulness on breath. Uh, it is a ground actually because uh, Vipassana is, as I always say, is like we can see the thing through the Vipassana. I is only then when your mind is concentrated, ED concentrated. So in order to concentrate your mind, then you need the Samatama Bhavana meditations. So in a way, uh, mindfulness of breathing, breath is not the Vipassana, but it prepare one for the Vipassana meditation. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, no, no, this very nice question. This very nice things. This is how we need to be uh, discussed. Yeah. Any other question? Okay. So maybe not now. If you have any question, please, as I said, always write down and you can ask next time. So then uh, if no more question, let's wind up for today here. So before we close and our um, today's discussion, we will transfer the merits, uh, recall the Buddha's quality, Dharma's quality, Sangha's quality, and pay respect to the Buddha, Dharma, Sangha and doing meditation and doing Dhamma discussion and asking and question, whatever the merits we have accumulated, uh, we will uh, transfer these merits for our beloved one who need these merits who are in a position that can accept, may they accept and be born in a good place and use this um, in a good place to be born. And may they are all at Nibbana. Finally, as a result of total eradication of uh, all defilements, in the same time, may all these good uh, meritorious activities be, uh, be uh, a cause for us to be happy and see the reality. So, and saying so, shall we uh, say all together, uh, Sadhu, three times. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome, Bhante. You're welcome. And so then see you next week. Yeah, see you next week. Bye. Right, see you. Yeah, see you. Bye. Take care.